very welcome to this webinar. So let's continue with the next very popular module and what is the benefit here. If you're searching for an answer, example, I search for the answer who is having higher salaries, then you have to do a lot of cross tables, especially if you have much more variable information. And uh, this could take weeks to find out by just using cross tables. So you can save a lot of time and effort by using this module instead. So you choose all your variable into the tree command, and then you click, and uh, then it will build up the tree. And you will find some answers that you maybe hadn't thought about. So this is something that I really want to demo so you can see the benefits. But what is the variables? The variables are response. That's the variable that is my target variable. And that's the first thing you choose when you start to do this command. And the rest of the variables you have here is the one that I think maybe could uh, affect the response. And what is the response? It's the response on the campaign, if they are interested to buy a product or not. And I think that age and gender maybe could affect that answer. The command is found under classify in the menu. So if you have the module, you will find it there as the command tree. So I will go to analyze and I go to classify and then down to tree. I start with the response on offer as my dependent variable. You can also have numeric variables here if you want to, like, um, for example, blood pressure, how much the customer is buying, and so on. Then you just mark all the other variables in your data set and put it in here. You can also go in and change some of the numbers here. For example, I want to decrease this number a little. So the minimum of a segment is 20 for me. And the segments we are going to come to now when I click on OK, because now we will get a tree. And you find the tree here. And this is very small for you, so I'm going over to the PowerPoint so I can talk a little bit more about the tree result. Because here you see a lot of boxes. Every box is called node or segment. And in the top, you have the top node. Here you can see that in the campaign among 681 people, it was 11.6% who said yes to buy the product. But the most important information about the customer is where they work. What is the occupation? And here we have unemployed, retired employed, student part-time. They have been put together, these categories, because they are very similar to each other. We have 4% four per, four among them that say yes to buy. Compared to this group working at home, there we have 20 percent saying yes to buy this product. If we go further among this working at home, we see that design is important, the design of the campaign. So if the people got the four color design, there we have 29.7 percent who said yes to buy the product among the people who is working from home. If we go further on this segment with four color then we find out that age group is important. And here we have an interesting group. It's between 35 and 55 years old people working from home with a four colors campaign. There we have 42% that said yes to buy the product. And this is very good information for next time when I do a campaign. Maybe I should send the campaign only to these kind of people people between 35 and 55 years old working from home. And even if it's a little bit more expensive with four color, then I think I maybe get some good ROI of that. So now we come to the summary of this decision trees to find out the most important cross table or combination of characteristics that can explain differences in your data. And you can send us some email with your questions. 